probability before we actually discuss probability let us revise the preliminary part factorial notation the product of first n natural numbers is called as n factorial or factorial n thus n factorial equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 up to n minus 1 into n 0 is not a natural number but 0 factorial is defined to be 1 also 1 factorial is 1 2 factorial is 2 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 that is 6 4 factorial is 6 into 4 that is 24 5 factorial is 24 into 5 that is 120 6 factorial is 120 into 6 that is 720 7 factorial is 720 into 7 that is 5040 and so on n factorial equal to n minus 1 factorial into n clearly factorial of a negative number is not defined and factorial of a fraction is not defined fundamental principle if one thing can be done in m ways and after it has been done by any one of these m ways another thing can be done in n ways then the total number of ways of doing both the things together that is of course one after the other is m into n and the total number of ways of doing any one of the two is m plus n permutation each of the arrangements of n things taken r at a time in a straight line is called as permutation the total number of permutations is given by npr equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial therefore npn equal to n factorial a permutation is used in the following cases number one formation of numbers using digits number two arrangement of letters in a word number three standing in a row for a photograph number four price distribution and in general any ordered arrangement combination each of the selections of n things taken r at a time is called as combination the total number of combinations is given by ncr equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial therefore nc1 equal to n and ncn equal to 1 a combination is used in the following cases number 1 formation of a group team or committee second selection of balls from an urn number 3 selection of cards from a well shuffled pack of 52 playing cards number 4 in many geometrical problems and in general any selection where order is immaterial to understand the concept of probability let us define few terms number one random experiment any act or phenomenon which can be performed number of times which has more than one possible results known in advance but it is impossible to predict which one is going to occur is called as random experiment for example tossing a coin or throwing a six phase die or drawing a card from a well shuffled pack of 52 playing cards second outcome the result of a random experiment is called as an outcome for example in the experiment of throwing a die getting a score six can be considered as an outcome number three sample space the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called as sample space 
and its elements are called sample points. A sample space is usually denoted by S. Number 4. Event. Any subset of a sample space is called an event. If an event contains only one sample point, then it is called a simple event or an elementary event. If an event is the empty set, that is it does not contain any sample point, then it is called an impossible event. The sample space S is called a certain event or sure event. Complementary event. Let A be an event in a sample space S. Then the complement of A in S, that is S minus A, is called the complementary event of A. It is denoted by A bar or A dash. Now we define probability of an event. Let A be an event in a sample space S. Then the probability of the event A denoted by P of A is defined as P of A equal to N of A upon N of S. That is P of A equal to number of sample points in A divided by number of sample points in S. Note that probability of an event lies between 0 and 1 both inclusive that is 0 less than or equal to P of A less than or equal to 1. If P of A equal to 0 then A is an impossible event. If P of A equal to 1 then A is a sure event. If A and A dash are complementary events of a sample space S, then P of A plus P of A dash equal to 1. Mutually exclusive events. Two events A and B of the sample space S are said to be mutually exclusive if they have no sample point in common, that is A intersection B equal to phi. Consider the experiment of throwing a die. If A is the event of getting even score and B is the event of getting an odd score, then clearly A intersection B is phi, that is events A and B are mutually exclusive. Exhaustive events. Two events A and B of the sample space S are said to be exhaustive if A union B is sample space, that is A union B contains all the sample points. For the experiment above, A and B are such that A union B equal to S, therefore events A and B are not only mutually exclusive, but they are exhaustive also. De Morgan's laws are, number one, a union B complement is A complement intersection B complement. Number two, A intersection B complement is A complement union B complement. Addition theorem. If A and B are two events defined on the same sample space S, then P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. If the events A and B are mutually exclusive, then P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B. In case of three events A, B and C, P of A union B union C equal to P of A plus P of B plus P of C minus P of A intersection B minus P of B intersection C minus P of A intersection C plus P of A intersection B intersection C. Conditional probability. If the occurrence of event B changes the probability of the event A, then it is called as conditional probability of the event A given that B has occurred. 
इट इज गिवन बाय पी ऑफ ए गिवन बी इक्वल टू पी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी अपॉन पी ऑफ बी सिमिलरली पी ऑफ बी गिवन ए इक्वल टू पी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी अपॉन पी ऑफ ए ऑन रीअरेंजिंग द टर्म्स वी गेट पी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल टू पी ऑफ ए गिवन बी इंटू पी ऑफ बी दैट इज पी ऑफ बी गिवन ए इंटू पी ऑफ ए दिस इज कॉल्ड एज मल्टीप्लीकेशन थियरम और थियरम ऑन कंपाउंड प्रोबेबिलिटी इफ द ऑकरेंस ऑफ इवेंट बी मेक्स नो चेंज इन द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द इवेंट ए देन इवेंट्स ए एंड बी आर कॉल्ड एज इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स इन दिस केस P of A given B is P of A. Therefore, P of A intersection B equal to P of A into P of B. This is the criterion for independence of two events. That is, probability of simultaneous occurrence should be the same as product of individual probabilities. Any event A can be expressed as union. of two mutually exclusive events a intersection b and a intersection b dash therefore p of a equal to p of a intersection b plus p of a intersection b dash similarly p of b equal to p of a intersection b plus p of a dash intersection b two mutually independent events cannot be mutually exclusive events if odds in favor of an event r a is to b then the probability of the occurrence of that event is a upon a plus b and the probability of non occurrence of that event is b upon a plus b if odds against an event r a is to b then the probability of the occurrence of that event is b upon a plus b and the probability of non occurrence of that event is a upon a plus b random variable a variable which takes the values depending on the outcome of a random experiment is called a random variable the set of values of the random variable x is called the sample space s when the variable x takes the integral values it is called a discrete random variable a random variable which can take any value between two given numbers is called a continuous random variable probability distribution of x all possible values of a random variable along with their corresponding probabilities so that the sum of all these probabilities is unity is called probability distribution of the random variable x in general the probability distribution of discrete random variable x can be given as where Sigma pi i goes from one to n equal to p one plus p two plus p three up to p n equal to one. If x is continuous random variable with probability distribution f of x, then integral f of x dx x belongs to capital S equal to one. Expected value of a random variable. if x is random variable with probability mass function p of x on a sample space s then the expected value of x denoted by e of x is given by e of x equal to sigma x into p of x where x belongs to s it can be proved that expected value of a random variable is arithmetic mean of x that is x bar variance of random variable variance of x is given by v of x equal to e of x square minus x bar square equal to e of x square minus square of e of x 
वेयर ई ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू सिग्मा एक्स इंटू पी ऑफ एक्स एंड ई ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर इक्वल टू सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वेर इंटू पी ऑफ एक्स वी ऑफ एक्स इज नथिंग बट स्क्वेर ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इन अदर वर्ड्स स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इज द पॉजिटिव स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वेरियंस बेस थियरम इफ ए वन ए टू ए थ्री अप टू ए एन आर एन म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव एंड एक्सॉस्टिव इवेंट्स फ्रॉम द सैंपल स्पेस एस बी इज एनी अदर इवेंट ऑफ एस एंड इफ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑकरंस ऑफ ए आईज एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑकरंस ऑफ बी गिवन दैट ए आई आई इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री अप टू एन हैज ऑकर्ड आर नोन then probabilities of occurrence of ais given that b has occurred are given by p of ai given b equal to p of ai into p of b given ai upon sigma p of ai into p of b given ai i goes from 1 to n